CJ, you all scored a uh, 30 plus in each of those last two quarters. What did you think about the, the offensive execution for you guys in the second half? Oh, we did a much better job, um, similar to how we executed in the first game. Much better second half, uh, more aggressive, more assertive. I'm um, running to our spots, fighting for space, finishing around the basket, making extra pass. I had a couple bad turnovers. So I got tightened up, but I thought all in all, we executed you know, pretty well against the championship caliber team. Yeah, and what did you think about what, what B.I. was able to do on a big stage tonight? Yeah, I just, I'm glad he gets to play on the stage. You know, this is, you know, what he's been been waiting for, what he's been looking for, you know, his, his entire career. You know, a chance to show his hard work, a chance to show his skill set, a chance to show um, his mentality and his ability to take over games. And I think tonight he took the game over every facet, passing, rebounding, dribbling the spots, getting to the free throw line, hitting threes. You got to see the the first one's a bank for that he gets to play on this stage and think for the beast tonight. Yeah, um, back in February when we asked you, you know, why you want to come to New Orleans, the first thing out of your mouth was, have you seen B.I.? <laughs> so I guess, you know, did you envision him being able to do this type of stuff on this stage? I watched him play, you know, league pass before I got traded. And so I, I knew what type of work I think he had, what type of mentality. He's with my agency, so, you know, I was able to make some calls to kind of get an idea of, you know, his thought process, how he sees the game, how he thinks the game. Obviously, I came. We went to dinner and we were able to kind of get on the same page. And um, I envision him being dominant, and I think he's being dominant. He's a basketball savant. He's continuing to learn, ask questions, study, you know, watching film on the table, watching film on the bus, taking care of his body now better. All those little things is, is why he's having success and why you see it on the big stage. So uh, if I said I envisioned 37 99, uh, maybe I'll be lying, but I knew he was nice. I knew he could play at an elite level and dominate at an elite level against anybody. Yeah, almost immediately you two were able to click on the court and, and understand how to complement each other. What did it take to kind of get to that point? You just got to be willing to, to sacrifice. I think that's what it's about. The best the best players, you know, know when to shoot, know when to pass, know when somebody else has it going. And, you know, I play alongside, you know, one of the best players ever play in Dame. So um, I watched him, his, his work ethic. I watched his preparation and uh, we figured out how to coexist and then I ended up leaving. And now I got another player in BI who's very talented in his own right. And, um, you know, in order for us to be successful, you got to be willing to let the other person flourish. And tonight, you know, he had it going. So I tried to like make sure I stayed out of his way, you know, take shots when they're there, be aggressive when I need to, facilitate, still impact the game. But um, I just want to win. So I don't really care about the rest of what comes with that. I just want to do whatever it takes to, to help our team win. You guys hold uh, Chris to the five or 16 tonight. What were, uh, I know you were doing a lot. I mean, it was a lot of switching overall tonight, but what, uh, what, what do you think worked uh, particularly well against him tonight? I mean, we, we tried to show different stuff, but he's, he's seen it all, man. <laughs> he knows what he's doing, how to manipulate defense, knows how to get to the spots. I think the difference was he just didn't make them tonight. Uh, he had some big shots in the fourth quarter last game. He had a couple threes, kind of kept him afloat, but, um, you know, credit, you know, our staff for, for, for doing a good job, credit our personnel for doing a good job, but also, you know, we need luck in this game, right? It's a make or miss league. Sometimes you make them, sometimes you don't, and tonight we made them and they didn't. What did you think of the job that uh, that Jackson was able to do tonight, especially in that uh, the third quarter? Yeah, he was great. He played with energy. We try to get him more involved, understanding what his talent level is, understanding, you know, his motor, how aggressive he can be on both ends. You know, he got a crazy shot block, running the floor, getting dunks, finishing around the basket, making his free throws. And then he's got a tough responsibility as a young guy in the league to have to guard, you know, a Devin Booker or to have to switch on to a CP. And it's tough. And then you got to go bang with Aiden. So, He's learning, he's adapting, and I'm proud of the growth that he showed tonight, you know, in a, in a tough environment against the championship caliber team who played well. You know, we've talked about the young, the rookies playing so many major minutes for you guys in the fourth and lately. Looking back for those guys, how much did not only the play-in tournament itself, but those six, seven, eight games leading up to the play-in where it was must-wins, the Spurs game, the Lakers game, things like that. How much did that help them, you think, be prepared for an atmosphere at night like tonight? I think it definitely helped, but there's nothing like the playoffs. I mean, you have to play in it to truly understand it. And I try to explain that to them. I was like, I can't even really explain to you, like, the magnitude of some of these games and what it's going to be like, how important execution is, half court, how every game is close. You're never really out of it, you know, because it's, it's such a long game. And I think they've just showed tremendous growth, not just from, you know, the, the two playing games and the six games we use to close the season out, but – from when they were one and twelve, you know, I mean, that, that takes a, a courageous group, you know, led by a, a courageous coach, you know, a servant leader who did what it took um, 
to get the best out of his players, and then they wouldn't put the work in so that we can have success tonight with Jose knocking down shots, with, with Herb locking up, making his free throws, um, with Trey knocking down shots. You know, we, we had a lot of guys who were in the G League, you know, finishing this game. CJ, uh, as a veteran player, how do you keep the players, um, the rookie players, with that mentality? That's just the word, not the mentality of a rookie especially what they bring to the defense side of the of the game. Um, maybe more, a little bit more about Jose Alvarado. What does he bring on the defensive side? He's fearless. He's got a lot of energy. He's going to get into you defensively, pick up full court, fight over screens. He's going to battle with the big man, pick the drew offensive foul, and they're trying to front the post. And then he's crafty. He can get in and out of pick and rolls. He's got a nice floater. His jump shot has improved a lot. I think you, you've seen the video of him saying, yeah, I can shoot. He can shoot, and he's showing that, you know, hitting big shots. Um, tonight, he's hit some big shots in, in some of the previous games that we played, and he's been someone that we can rely upon late in games. Yeah, and Larry talked about how difficult it could be for a young guy to have your minutes chopped in big games and still be able to respond the way Jax did tonight. Because what did you think about that aspect of what he did? I thought he showed a lot of growth and maturity tonight. Uh, he, didn't, he played, what, 11 minutes in, in game one, and um, most guys would be frustrated and maybe check out, and I thought – You know, he was professional. He was still, you know, jacks, you know, happy, go lucky, listen to music, dance, and all those things. And he came out and he performed well. He was aggressive. He showed the athleticism. He made the right passes in the pocket when we hit him. And uh, he's a big part of why we won tonight. You talked about how much uh, you wanted this team to get New Orleans invested in, in this group. How much you show out? They <laughs> that's, show out. That's what I was going to ask. How much you they looking forward to what game three will be? The crib, baby. I can't wait to see it. I'm already knowing I played there before. I know what type of time they be on when we go back home. So I'm looking forward to, to not being in enemy territory, you know, for a little bit and actually hearing cheers when we, when we shoot and pass and, and do nice things. Go to uh, Jim on Zoom. He actually just answered what I was going to ask, but I, I, I was just going to ask you what how much you're looking forward to seeing the environment. I know you've seen pretty awesome stuff from the crowd in a, in a few of the games that you played lately. I know they're going to show up and show out, and we're going to do the same. So I'm looking forward to seeing them. Hopefully it sells out in advance. And, you know, I locked my tickets in with my family early so that, you know, do what y'all got to do, buy as many tickets as y'all need to. Have a great one.